Today on Florida Sportsman Best Boat. If you're wanting a boat with a hardcore fishing heritage that has no lack of creature comforts, we'll be taking a look at the Contender 24S. A center console with an overall length of 24 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 300. Standout features on the Contender 24S. When heading offshore or even just cruising around inshore, you'll want a boat with a performance hull design, giving you a soft ride. Integrated stern seating maximizes comfortability for multiple passengers without impeding or sacrificing cockpit space. A fishable bow layout allows for plenty of comfortable seating while at the same time giving anglers plenty of room to fish up front. Do you desire high-speed performance but still want a boat with the capability to fish offshore? If so, we'll be looking at the Glassstream 255 Pro XS. A center console boat with an overall length of 24 feet 10 inches, a beam of 8 feet 5 inches, and max horsepower rating of 350. Standout features on the Glassstream 255 Pro XS. A racing-inspired stepped hull increases running performance, especially at high speeds, meaning you'll be among the first to get to the fishing grounds. When you're running a boat top speeds, secure helm seating will keep you safe and locked into place. Multiple live wells located in the transom adds to the fishability of the boat by allowing anglers to easily manage and access baits. If you desire to take the family out for a day of offshore fishing and want to cruise in style when heading to the sandbar, we'll be taking a look at the Rabalo R302, a center console with an overall length of 29 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches, and max horsepower rating of 700. Standout features on the Rabalo R302. System access provides the ability to easily maintain pumps, batteries, and other systems, making it a breeze to keep your boat in tip-top shape. The captain of the boat will appreciate a functional console layout that allows plenty of space for electronics, switches, and storage. Lounge-style seating in the bow provides a perfect place to soak up the sun as well as a place to eat or have a few drinks. Join our hosts George Levante and Rick Riles as they conduct walkthroughs and review key features, all to help you decide if this is the best boat for you. Welcome to this week's edition of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. I'm Captain Rick Riles. And I'm George Labonte, boating editor at Florida Sportsman Magazine. George, we got three dandies this week. Let me tell you, the Contender 24 Sport, the Glassstream 255 Pro XS, and the biggest of the three, the Rabalo R302. Rick, let's start out with the Contender. This 24 Sport, this is a great entry-level boat into the Contender family. That's going to be a serious fishing boat, but one that you can take the family out on. It's got the forward seating there. It's really geared towards taking the family fishing, not super hardcore mad at the fish fishing. George, if boats have been around long enough, they develop families. Do you understand? What I mean? Almost like a fraternity. The Contender fraternity is one that a lot of guys want to get into. But let me tell you what, that Glassstream 255, it is all Glassstream. George, there's a reason why it looks like a race boat. They cut their teeth built at race boats, but don't misunderstand it. It's an offshore fishing boat. It rides great. It handled the chop nicely today. You know what? These are center console fishing boats, Rick, but they all look like speed boats to me, and they're definitely fast. Hey, how about this Rabalo, the R302? This is a big 30-foot boat. This is a boat to take offshore that you can take the whole family on, but this is a boat that feels like a much bigger boat than any 30-footer. I mean, this is a super big boat and value price to boot. George, it is, and I thought about that. We don't talk about value much. This is one that really stood out to me, and let me tell you something. It almost reaches that unlimited range offshore. I would be comfortable an awful long ways offshore in that boat. They're all three great boats. Let's get on them because they've all got things to stand out. You bet. Let's go. When we return, hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles check out a boat that can fish with the best but keeps the family in mind, the Contender 24S. This segment brought to you by Real World Sport Fishing, strongest outriggers on the planet. 50 years ago, Ben and Marie changed boating forever, inventing the trim tab, getting you on plane faster, improving fuel efficiency and performance, balancing loads. Today, more than 1 million systems later worldwide, boats all sizes, Bennett Innovation, durable and dependable trim tabs and hatch lifters, your only source for both hydraulic and electric systems, Bennett Trim Tabs, superior by design, legendary service, enjoy the ride.
Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles, as they take a closer look at the Contender 24S. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Contender 24S has an overall length of 24 feet 6 inches, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Built for use in offshore and nearshore waters, she has a draft of 18 inches, a dry weight of 5,250 pounds, a dead rise of 22.5 degrees, and a fuel capacity of 130 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, we're on the Contender 24 Sport. How much fun is it to do boats that have been around as long as Contender? Well, they've been building boats for over 30 years, Rick, and there's a good reason why. You know, look at this boat. I mean, when I think of Contender, I think of big offshore fishing boats. This boat right here is like a great entry-level boat for a young family that wants to join the Contender family. Well, it's all Contender. They may have coined the phrase, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Rick, let's break down what we're standing on here first. You need a boat that you can take the family out, take a cruise to the river, take a cruise to a sandbar, or go offshore fishing. This is a great boat to get you into that profile of boating and get you on the water, but not have to lay it out for a big 40-foot center console. This boat has all the features you find on those big boats, but compressed into a smaller package. We know boats have evolved. Well, fishing has evolved used to be big men on big boats. Now it's families and they can do it on much smaller boats. The tackle is lighter, the family is better suited to be on an offshore boat if it's not so big. George, what is it that makes a contender ride so special? Think about it, Rick. This is a deep V bottom, 22 and a half degree dead rise on the transom. It's a soft ride. I mean, these boats run through the water really softly. You're gonna get the same kind of performance you expect from a bigger boat in this boat. George, let's go to the transom. There's stuff back there that'll point out right away why this is more of a family boat. George, you remember the old 31 contenders? You know what came standard with each one of them? What's that? Bean bags. Well, bye-bye bean bags. They came up with a much better idea for the transom. Yeah, you know what? Traditional center console fishing cockpit, you think about it being all open here. I like what they've done. They're really gearing this boat towards the family. Contender has built these seats into the two corners back here. They're very plush, really comfortable with a little backrest. It's the perfect size live well for offshore fishing on a boat this size. Incidentally, underneath those seats too, you've got two storage compartments there. You've got your batteries, switches. They're not wasting any of the space. Boats have got to have the wow factor. I may be 64 years old, they've still got to have a cool function for me. This one does. It's very unique looking. I like it. You know, there's a few things about the boat that jump out to me too. One of them is this two-tone paint. They've got a darker gray on the underside of the hard top and just a little bit of offset, this lighter gray all around the helm really catches a lot of that glare. I really like what they did also in the console with their storage. Of course, you've got to have phone chargers. Yeah, I mean, there's a little dry box right here with the USB charging port two compartments to put your devices in there. You got a couple of phones in there charging at the same time. You know, laid out like the standard offshore center console, everything you need right here. Something that's really unique about this boat, for a 24 foot center console, it's big enough in here for a head and this boat's got one. It's got an electric head in here. You know, it's a little tight, but there's plenty of room for it. And when you definitely need it, and if you've got the family on the boat, especially you're gonna the girls, need it. you're gonna need it. Great feature for this boat. Speaking of family features, let's go up to the bow. Let me show you what they did up there. George, coming up here in the bow, it can be either a family boat or, with a couple of little changes, a serious offshore boat. Absolutely, Rick. I mean, forward seating is really popular, especially if you've got a family. It's always going back to family here, I know, but this is great seating for, you know, put the kids up here when you're just riding around in the ditch or you're up on the sandbar. It's comfortable for four people to sit around, and that center section right there, incidentally, comes out. I mean, you could be sitting up here in the morning you go offshore, take that piece out, and you're standing all the way up to the front, put your legs up against that bolster, and you're flying a kite out of the bow. I mean, it's again, this is traditional center console contender design, just in a smaller package. George, there's a whole lot more to this than just seating, though. You get a lot of advantages when you build these boxes up here. Yeah, absolutely. You create additional storage. I mean, you've got two really nice sized dry storage areas here, both sides. You know, additionally, you've got a great big box in the deck here, another one right here. I mean, if you've got a family, you're going to have a bunch of stuff that needs putting away on the boat. There's plenty of room for it up here. George, you know, you got to look at it this way. If on your bucket list has always been owned a contender, which incorporates most offshore fishermen, by the way, this may be your membership card. Absolutely. For a great boat, 
If you want to join the Contender family and work your way up, this is a great place to start. This Contender 24S is a great little boat. Easy to manage, easy to trailer, easy to fish. The 24 Sport Contender is certainly worth a look if you're looking to start offshore fishing. When we come back, host George Labonte and Rick Riles take a look at a boat that satisfies both a need for speed and blue water fishing fever, the Glassstream 255 Pro XS. This segment brought to you by MyFWC. Life jackets save lives. Personal watercraft provide one of the best ways to experience Florida's waterways. If you're a new rider or renting one for the day, knowing these concepts will help you stay safe in the water. PWCs require the rider to use thrust from the throttle while turning. A rider cannot let off the gas and expect to change direction. Always apply a controlled amount of throttle to turn. PWCs are high performance watercraft. They are fast and maneuverable, so know your limits and don't ride recklessly. Have fun, be safe, and always wear your life jacket. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles as they step aboard the Glass Street 255 Pro XS. Representing the 20 to 26 foot class in the center console category, the Glassstream 255 Pro XS has an overall length of 24 feet 10 inches, a beam of 8 feet 5 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 350. Built for speed and venturing offshore, she has a draft of 15 inches, a dead rise of 22 degrees, a dry weight of 3,850 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 85 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. George, over the last two years, we've done a handful of glass streams now. You know what they've all had in common? What's that? They're all fun to drive. They're all fast looking, and they all go really fast. This 255 Pro XS, no exception. Yeah, I mean, Rick, this boat to me says sports car. It's a sports car and a boat. You know, Rick, what kind of person is going to buy this boat? The guy that I see walking into the glass stream dealership for this boat, first off, he wants to look good. He's got a family, he's not alone. There's people he needs to answer to. Like, look at this model we've got, the buckskin edition, okay? It just looks great, so it's gotta have that feature to him. Chances are he's got a couple of kids and he wants to have a great time with them on the weekend. We know Glassstream's one of the first people to bring the step into practical use in a sport boat, not a racing boat. You know, you think about a step hull, it's not just limited to big boats. I mean, this boat's a single step on the bottom. It's nothing new to Glassstream. They've been doing it for years and they've got it figured out. Well, certainly they've really dialed in the step. This boat being a little bit smaller, it's got a single step. It not only improves the performance offshore, it improves it in this package inshore just as well. You know what, Rick? There's a bunch of features on this boat I like. Let's have a look around. Actually, let's start right here. I wanna talk about this buckskin package. George, they call this the buckskin package. Of course, that comes from the upholstery, which looks very, very much like buckskin, by the way. But they changed everything up here. Yeah, you know what? This is a totally new retooled boat for 2018. They've changed the seating around. They actually added forward seating up here, which not only creates a place to sit, actually lots of places to sit, but adds a bunch of storage to the boat as well. George, when we say they retooled a boat, what did they change besides the forward seating? They added a bunch of space in the cockpit. We're gonna look at that in just a minute, but another thing they did inside this console, they lowered the deck in there to create more headroom, really opened up the space in the head down below. Rick, it's about 115 degrees here right now. How about we get underneath this hard top and get in some shade and look at the middle of the boat. Remember, George, I told you these boats look like they're going fast and they go fast. It's at 50 miles an hour plus that you really appreciate these racing seats. Yeah, you know, again, I'm becoming a fan of these. I didn't like the look of them when I first saw the things, but when you get in there and get cozied up and you start going 50, 60 miles an hour, you definitely know why they're there and they're very comfortable. Glass Dream owners care a lot about how good they look. This console really makes this boat stand out with the shading they did on it. Yeah, you know what? The whole style of the boat is consistent from front to back, top to bottom. I mean, this is a very racy looking boat. Like I said before, a sports car style, and it continues through the console and the hard top. It's just got the lines of a sports car. This is a really nice oversized hard top for this boat. It's got all the shade you need underneath here. It doesn't really intrude into the workspace in the cockpit either. You know what, let's move back here. Speaking of not infringing on the workspace here, one of the things they did when they retooled this boat for 18 is they opened up the cockpit a lot. Not having this transom fish box kind of live well set up back here. They pushed the seat back a little bit. They really opened it up. They opened it up by a couple of feet in here and it's much roomier. 
It makes a lot of difference when you start putting a family on a boat. We really opened up this space, Rick, for a 25-foot boat. You've got about as much room as you can want back here. You're not losing your live wells. You've got two here. You can actually jump out on this back here and fish off of the back. If you had a big fish, you can work them around the motor back there. This boat is not just for riding around. No, there's a whole school of thought behind having twin live well stores. A lot of times you're taking the kids, you need a dozen, two dozen live shrimp. You don't want to catch them in a 50 gallon well. Now you've got plenty of live well capacity if you need it, if you're going for a long day offshore. But how good is it to only have a small well to keep a few live baits in for your kids? Rick, they really managed to pack a lot of features into this little 25 foot boat. I mean, 25 foot boat's a little boat to me now, but they put a lot in this boat. They did, it's a smaller version of everything we loved about the big 36 that we did. If you've got a family and your emphasis is on having a good time, the Glassstream 255 Pro XS might be the best boat for your family. When we return, host George Labonte and Rick Riles do a walkthrough on a boat ready to tackle offshore waters with comfort and style, the Rabalo R302. This segment brought to you by Suzuki Marine, the ultimate four-stroke outboard. Welcome back to Florida Sportsman Best Boat. Join our hosts George Labonte and Rick Riles as they check out the Rabalo R302. Representing the 27 to 30 foot class in the center console category, the Rabalo R302 has an overall length of 29 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 700. Built for venturing way offshore and providing plenty of fishing space, she has a draft of 21 inches, a variable dead rise of 21 degrees, a dry weight of 8,920 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 300 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, George Labonte and Rick Riles. Rick, we're on the Rabalo R302. This is a 30-foot boat, but man, it sure feels like I'm standing on a lot more than 30 feet of boat. George, I think part of that comes from it just feeling beefy. The sides are high. It's a solid boat. It's, it's the kind of boat that has a mission, it's an offshore machine. This is a great family boat. You know, look at the size of the boat, but look at how safe you feel inside this boat. I mean, this has got high freeboard. You know, there's a lot of room inside here. I mean, it's got seating in the front, fishing business in the back. I mean, but the boat has got so many features that the family will find attractive. All right, let's go to the back of the boat and work our way forward. George, the primary function for me back here to make it a good fishing boat is plenty of room. Yeah, this is fish and business right here. We both need that. I mean, not everybody does, but we do. Anybody that's going to buy this boat is going to appreciate the fishability back here. Look at some of the features on this boat, Rick. This transom right here, they put a fold down seat there, but the transom is narrow. They didn't try and cram a gigantic fish box into the transom or anything back here, and they brought that splash well in. I mean, you're close to the motors here. You're fishing around. You don't feel like you're going to get your line wrapped in the motor playing a big fish. George, I love these in-deck fish boxes. If you're going to catch a long fish, you want a long box to put him in. Rick, you're right. These are both really big boxes. That's a 200-quart box on either side. I mean, you just don't need any more capacity than that. You know, another cool feature here, this seat folds down, but behind this seat, you can lift this up. There's a hatch that'll get you into the bilge. All your systems are inside there, really easy to work on. What I really like, just below the deck, you've got four batteries. It could not be easier to service or replace the batteries, and right there, before we leave the transom, you've got a 25 gallon bait well right there in the corner behind you. There's another 20 gallon bait well right here. You got a little wet bar right here. There's a sink, great sliding track for your cooler, drink coolers right there. Let's move into the middle of the boat. There's a lot to look at here also. George, I love this console and it just occurred to me one of the reasons why this boat feels so rock steady to me. Look at this hard top, the size and how it's reinforced. But check out the seating right here. Oh, it is cool. I love the way they stitched in the Rabalo on it. It, of course, is very plush seating like we see so much of now stand up or sit down. 
It's just nice. And look at how wide it is. You can put three people on these seats. It's got a vent, okay, so the raises and lowers to keep you cool there. Great for Florida boaters, absolutely. You can open that window up and let some air in. But look, at, you feel like you're in a giant fish tank in here. You can see everything. It's panoramic, the view there. I'm a big fan of Isinglass and the really good, easy to see, clear, all the stuff that's out now. But boy, it's hard to beat glass. On this boat, Rick, we've got two really big multifunction displays. I mean, plenty of room to put a couple of big screens on there, but the whole dash has got stuff on it. You've got these lighted switches in here. There's places to put phones. George, I knew I liked this console. They have very unique cell phone holder there, but the truth is they've got little places to put just about anything you're gonna have with you. And you don't appreciate that until you're on a boat that doesn't have it. You've got plenty of storage under there. It's lockable, it's dry storage. You've got a 12 volt charging port and a USB port. You know, I mean, everything you look for on a console is here, only it's bigger. The sheer size of this console also provides something I want to show you a little further forward. We're getting into family territory. Let's head up here and have a look. George, it seems the more boats we do, the more of them we see, and I've fallen in love with this front of the console opening. Absolutely. Really easy to get down in there, Rick. This console has got a ton of room in it. You know, there's a head down there, there's a shower down in there, and more importantly, there's tons of room inside there. You know what I appreciated more about this boat than anything else? What's that? The trash can. This built-in right here, I, I want to put this on my boat. It's awesome. Over there, you've got three compartments inside of a hatch there to put, you know, books and sunscreen, phones, whatever have you, your camera. You know, Rick, this has got a real loungy feel right here. I mean, comfortable seating for a bunch of people to sit around. You can also add a table. There's a table that fits in there if you want to sit around and eat your lunch up here. One table sits up there to eat at. There's another table you can put in and make it into a casting deck. You put the casting deck on it, take all these cushions out. Now you've turned it into a fishing area right here, not a lounging area. It's a great use of the space. Right, when you and your buddies are on the boat, it turns into a very serious casting platform up here, whether you're throwing a net, gapping a fish, or fighting a fish. Rick, you know, when you turn this into a fishing boat, incidentally, this seating up here is all insulated too, so you've got more places to put drinks or ice or fish up in the front as well. George, if you've got a family and they all love to offshore fish, or maybe you've got a tight group of friends and they all love to go fish together, whether a ball or R302 is one you got to look at. Hey, if you'd like any more information about the boats you've seen this week or any boat you see on Florida Sportsman Best Boat, visit floridasportsman.com. Or we'll see you next week on another edition of Florida Sportsman Best Boat. When filming for Florida Sportsman Best Boat, the cast and crew docked and dined at Pirate's Cove Marina in Stewart, Florida. Family owned and operated, featuring 50 renovated rooms with an outstanding restaurant and a full service 50 slip marina. Be sure to join us next week for another episode of Florida Sportsman Best Boat.